In this video, I luck out with a private King Air flight to a place in Sweden almost no one has ever heard of. I visit the world's largest wooden bear, and then I fly back to Stockholm. Let's do it. I'm at Arlanda Airport in the Sky City Terminal and uh, getting ready to take a very unusual flight. So unusual, in fact, that there's no check-in area. Uh, I'm standing here and trying to figure out where uh, the meeting point is. Apparently, they just come and get you. You don't have to check in, you just stand at the meeting point. But the meeting point is not very well signposted, so uh, it's time to go and see if I can figure out where this place is and uh, if someone is there to take me to this special little flight. John Air? Yeah. yeah. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Fine, yeah. No. So this is a pleasant surprise. You get taken in a van from the meeting place, which is hard to find, but, uh, but you find it. They called me in the end and uh, told me where to go. It's very personalized service. And then you get brought into this place with everything you could want. Oh, thank you. Sure. Coffee, if you want it. This comfy area to sit, air conditioned. and even a piano. Amazing. And the other interesting bit of news is that it seems I'm the only person on this flight today. There's no security check either, though the driver does take a glance at your ID. I even got to peek in at the crew lounge next door. But now let's get out to this plane. This plane took its first flight in January 1983, making it just a little older than me. As you might expect, with no other passengers, it was pretty quick to get going. All right. Yes. Yes. Welcome to this flight with you, and I will take this way. It's about uh, 50 minutes of flight time. So if we need to evacuate, we have uh, two doors. First this one we just entered in the back, so if we need to open that one, we'd use pull the red button and uh, pull the door handle upwards. Or use the emergency exit just above your head, and just pull the red tab and pull the door into the cabin. Oxygen masks will deploy from the roof if you need that. Do the toilet towards you, pull your head and breathe as normally, and life has start below your seat. And uh, also when we turn off the fast and seat sides, we have some coffee and tea in the back that you can use, also some uh, small candy. Nice. And we wish you a pleasant flight. Great, thank you.
up to the tiny town of Svig. It's a fun experience to uh, go to somewhere kind of unusual in the middle of Sweden and also to fly one of these planes, which is relatively tiny. I mean, you can tell it's from the early 80s. Pilots will tell you that the King Air is a great plane. It just feels, looks capable, sturdy, powerful. Uh, we're up here cruising at 26,000 feet now. It's about a 50 minute flight from Arlanda up to Spig. It's one of these routes where uh, it's subsidized because there's no connections. If you want to go from Sveg to Stockholm by other means of transport, it's, I guess, around a five hour drive, or you have to take a bus to a train or two. Uh, so a little flight under an hour, they do two of these a day. And uh, today I'm the only one on board as it happens, which is very nice. It's like taking a little private flight. But uh, they say that before, that before the pandemic, there were often five or six people uh, on any given flight. It's kind of amazing that they can do two of these a day. Let's take a little walk around the cabin. It won't take very long. Here's where we have our little cargo bay at the back. Great view into the flight deck. You sit in the first row, you feel like you're in the jump seat. And uh, yeah, it's just super fun. And here, look at this. As clothing only. A bit tricky to move around in here, especially when it starts getting a bit bumpy. But no matter. Oh, and they even give you a little coffee and tea service. What more could you ask for? left summer behind in Stockholm and descended into a weathery Sveg. It's only about 200 miles to the northwest of Stockholm, but the difference in climate and landscape is notable. definitively entered Norland, the vast stretch of Swedish north that gets increasingly arctic as you head further up. Trying to keep that runway in frame was a challenge. Yeah, my name is Douglas and uh, I fly for uh, Jonar Affairs Flyg. Uh, it's a Swedish company. Uh, we operate mainly in Scandinavia. Uh, we do uh, some commercial flights uh, and uh, executive flights as well. Operation here is uh, Beechcraft 200 King Air. Uh, mm -hmm. We do have uh, the Beechcraft 1900 as well and uh, Cessna XLS as well. I'm based here at Sveg in Herjedalen. We are an outstation, so we are uh, five pilots here and uh, we do everything then. So uh, we fly the plane and uh, do the cabin as well and everything. So. I 
always hear that the King Air is a really nice plane to fly. Can you tell me about your, your experience of it? Oh, it's a very competent aircraft. Very, very competent. Uh, uh, I mean, um, they've been around for a long time and they're still producing them now. It's very well suited for this kind of operation, I would say. Uh, it's a, a Beechcraft very solid plane, I would say, and uh, overpowered. Uh, compared to other planes, I would say. Um, so it's no problem uh, flying in this condition we have up here with ice in the winter, even the heat in the summer up in the in the in the inland up here. So it's uh, performance-wise, it's very nice as well. And uh, yeah, yeah, I like it. Then I had a few hours to kill in Sveg. A very typical small northern Swedish town, except for two things. A multi-room cinema-themed cafe, which is pretty amazing. And this. So, I know this video is technically about flying the King Air, and we'll get back to that in a minute. Sveg is home to this behind me. Uh, it's the world's largest wooden bear. Apparently, I haven't really fact-checked that, but that's the claim. And now you'll notice there's a kind of strange structure under its head. It wasn't originally built with that. I was told that it's been taking on water. Something was wrong with the construction. I think it was built around 15 years ago to be a kind of tourist attraction. Uh, and unfortunately, they're having to prop it up because it's not structurally sound, and I guess that this fence around it has something to do with that too. So that's kind of very sad because actually it's really nice bear. You could imagine tilting forward and that wouldn't be such a good look for the tourist attraction of Sveg. Anyway, let's get back to the King Air, shall we? As ever, we'd love it if you hit the like button and subscribe. As we grow the amount of video we're putting out, it helps a great deal to reach as many people as possible. Thanks for coming along on this one. In Stockholm, for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.